All right, so what we've got here, I've got the Sakuli script that we're going to write over here, and then I've just got the browser open. We could obviously start from scratch, have it open up a browser, but here we go. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, start here, and the first thing we want to do is we want to have the mouse come to this address bar and like click on the address bar. So the way that we're going to do that is we want it to click, and where do we want it to click? It's going to be um, right here. So that's where we want it to click. Now, just to make sure, because it might think like the mouse, I believe where it makes that uh, crossover is where it will naturally, oh shoot. <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Where it will naturally click is there. But if we go, oh, that, it's like all my screens. Anyway. Uh, so okay you can see where it wants to click but you could tell it like no I really want the mouse to click here or here um, the next thing that you might want to do that you can change up um, is uh, sorry this probably looks really confusing because it's showing like I've got four monitors so it's like this huge mess yours should just be a regular square though but what it's gonna do I wish there was a way for me to like zoom into my main monitor um, anyway you can see here there's got this similarity so it's always a good idea to kind of check this and see okay how many similar places are there and you can require how similar you want it to be like if we drop this you can see that oh there's a similarity here 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 but obviously the most strong one is is this one but if you raise it up enough the only one it's gonna find is the correct one so anyway we'll just hit apply okay and now you can see here in our little image exactly where it's going to stick the mouse to click on this image. So real quick, since I know everyone's just excited as heck with Sakuli, let's hit run and see what it does. So we hit run. Oh, we, we got to save it. Let's see. We'll just run immediately. So you saw maybe, hopefully within, um, you can see that it, moved, it took my mouse and it moved it and we did click there. So now that's actually, now that we've clicked there, Next thing we might want to do is uh, we want to type in something. So let's say type, and in here we want to type um, sentdex, oops, sentdex.com. So now let's uh, let's actually save this so we don't run into any problems. Let me save it real quick. And we'll do save, and we're just going to save this as. Uh, Sakui toot awesome. So now what we'll do, we'll run it and let's see where it goes. Image. I think uh, this must have been saving it somewhere. So let's let's retake this image real quick. I guess we'll have to yeah. Let's just redo this image. I think because it's in, it's looking for it saves the images in a little bit of a like a file basically, and. Um, so let's say where do we click? So since those um, since we saved it in a new directory, I think that's the, that's the problem is it just doesn't know. So let's do that and then let's uh, edit this target offset. We want to make let's just offset just slightly. Apply okay. Okay. So now let's save it. Let's run it and you can see okay now it goes there. It types sentex.com. Now the next thing we want it to do is hit the enter key, right? And so you obviously can't say like click enter or something like that, right? So now we need to change that up. So how do we do that? So as far as I know, I believe you do key dot um, and then like we would do, I think it's all caps, enter. But you'll have to bear with me. There's also, uh, say you wanted to do like control um, C, you can do like uh, key down, oops, sorry, we're all caps, uh, like key down and then do something, but for now, we'll get to that eventually. Um, so I think we can actually put syntax.com and then you can say plus and then do key, oops, got to uppercase that, key and then we'll do enter, plus key enter, and that should take us to the website. We'll see what happens. Let me empty out the address bar here. Uh, let's save our Sakuli script and let's run it. 
goes to your sendex.com, hits enter. Sure enough, it takes us to the website. Now, we're already logged into this website, so let me go ahead and log out real quick. Let's say log out. Hopefully, it'll save us logged out. Let's try it again. Let's run it one more time. See if it keeps us logged out. Hey, oh yay. Uh, so if you have something in the address bar, okay, so here's a, here's a good thing to run through real quick. So what's happening is it's looking for this image and this image contains a completely empty uh, bar. So it's probably having a hard time finding it. Like, let me click on this and see our matching preview. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not finding it because we have a pretty stringent uh, match, but I bet if we just turned it down a little bit, like here, it would find it pretty quick. But there's a better way to do it because you wouldn't want it to find like multiple things because this is where Sekuli could go wrong. Obviously, you could use some good logic with it. But what you can do is since, like, for example, this will change, like when you're using a browser, you know, this might, might change, your forward and backs might change a little bit. But for the most part, uh, what's going to change the most is going to be this, the text. And the image recognition is that it's quite good. So you can use that to your advantage, but also it can kind of mess you up sometimes. So let me show you how to fix this sort of a problem, and then I'll pause the video and we'll continue on um, in, in the next video. So let's say instead, uh, let's get rid of this click. And the way, what you can do to kind of uh, remedy this situation is take an image. So let's say, okay, we're going to click here. Right, or, or we're going to do, oh shoot, we shouldn't have, sorry, I hovered over this button, so that's going to cause a problem. So <laughs> let me fix this really quick. So one more time, click, wait till it comes up. Okay, so we want to click in this area, make sure we don't get any of that blue. But, or actually, let's even do it this way. So we want to click in this area, but then what we do is we change this target offset, to actually be all the way over here, right? So this is the image it's going to look for, and it's going to click over here. So that way, um, you're kind of circumventing any issues with stuff being in there. So let's hit apply, OK. And now let's put this where it needs to be, first of all. Or cut and paste this down here, put this up here, save. And now let's run it, and hopefully that'll work out for us. <laughs> I kind of messed up our URL. Let's try again one more time. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now it's actually taking us to sentex.com, still the same way as before. And if something's in the address bar, let's try again. It might be because it's maybe not highlighting it, but I'll tell you what you can do. Sometimes what you can do is you could click and you can drag over to here and then type the website. So, I mean, there's all kinds of different things, but Sekuli is not only for the browser. So, and really, if you're going to be doing something in a browser, it's sometimes better to use um, Selenium anyway. But I'm just trying to get you guys used to using um, Sekuli. So anyway, I'm going to cut off the, uh, the video here, and then we'll continue on in the next video um, with logging in with Sekuli. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video, and thank you for your support, your subscriptions.